What could be wrong with a girlfriend like this? She's 28, you know? I mean, come on. So, we found this 21-year-old somebody his own age. If I was dating somebody who was six and a half years my junior, I'd be trolling the junior high schools. And she met his girlfriend. I think that at almost 30 years of age, you'd be a little more mature than that. I think at 22, you'd be able to afford bleach for your roots. After she dates someone a bit more adult. He started asking me questions about where is the wildest place you've ever done it. Will they have a change of heart? Thank you very much. Welcome to Change of Heart. This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new, and we're going to meet their dates later. But first, let's meet our couple. Their hearts went into a spin cycle when they met in their apartment building and laundry room. Since then, they've been washing clothes together for the last three months. Please welcome Michelle Nichols and Todd Coder. <laughs> welcome to the program. A fairly new relationship with a few kinks to iron out, and that's why you're here. But Todd, we're going to start with you in the laundry room that day. That uh, you know, what got your attention about Michelle? Well, I was walking by the laundry room, and I heard this beautiful voice. So she was singing in the laundry room. And I'm like, wow, you know, I got, uh -huh. I got to go in there and see who's doing this. And I walk in there, and then this is what I see, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, tell me between the two of you in the relationship, who initiated that very first kiss? Oh, wow. Well, actually, I have to say, I initiated it. And um, we actually discussed it for about an hour before, though. And then we <laughs> finally met halfway. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, since that first kiss, is it always up to you to make the first move? Um, actually, yes, it is. I don't know whether it's the age difference or what it is, but hes I don't know if he's intimidated by that or what, but... Todd, you all right there, man? I'm <laughs> uh, fine. I'm just curious. You know, you know, what you got to say here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I seem to be the one making more of the moves. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, and, uh, what, yeah. Is, what exactly uh, is the age difference, Michelle, between the two I of you? I see how it is. Six and a half years. Who's older? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Todd, do you think that makes a big difference, that she's that much older? Uh, it did at first, but now I'm thinking, well, actually, I was thinking about no, the what? marriage thing a little bit. You know, she's 28, you know, I mean, come on, um, right? Look, I'm not ready to settle down anytime soon, okay? All right, well, you so know, don't worry. what do you expect? You can get a little close, I'm a little you know? younger, so I'm I'm thinking, not going to push you off. All right, don't all right, worry. That's cool. <laughs> right, Todd getting a little panic there already. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Michelle, couples oftentimes have pet names for each other. Does he have a pet name for you? <laughs> actually, he does. <laughs> it's Hooker. He calls me Hooker. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'll do that. Come on. Hooker. Yeah. Hooker. Yeah. Does Michelle have a name for you? Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll be called by Scott, which would be her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> no, Scott, Todd, Todd. It kind of sounds... Todd, Scott, yeah, Todd, Scott. They you know, sound a lot it's all the same, right? You no, know? no, no, no. It's the odd. Hey, Michelle, let's talk about your relationship when you guys are going out, whining and dining. Do you get a lot of that action? Whining and dining? Uh, excuse me, that's not in our um, dating vocabulary. It's not? Uh, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> he never wait, wait, wait. takes me out, okay? Wait, wait. <laughs> he, ne he complains about money, but he, nowhere. Uh, come on. McDonald's, I, I just moved no. out here from Wendy's. Ohio, you know How long? I mean? Six months ago? Oh, I moved man. out here from um, north. Come on now. Todd, you have a job you on your work? So I got a job. Cheap. It's like nothing, though. You're you got to so pay tight. your bills, you know, right? So. Okay. Okay, well, is it, it's not just the money, though, Michelle, right? There's other things you can exactly, be creative about. Exactly, exactly. I mean, we live like 20 minutes away from the beach. Right. We can go to the beach. I agree. That's we cool. live right off Melrose. We can walk down Melrose. We can go to Santa Monica we have. or Sunset. We have. All right, Todd, since you're not going out a lot, what, tell me this, Todd. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, what a typical night at home is like, then, since that's where you're spending most of your time with Michelle. Yeah, well, uh, I come home from work, work. And, you know, I like to sit I down, relax a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, and she comes home. She Sleep. ice skates, okay? She likes to ice skate. When she gets off ice skating, she's hyper. She's like jumping off my walls and doing these flips and twists in my living room. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, come what? on, That's am I here? Am I invisible? Or you know, like, come on. At least something can make me flip. Oh. <laughs> Michelle, tell us why you just decided this was a good time to go out with someone else. Then. Oh my gosh. Because I'm the relationship type of girl, and I always seem to be going from one relationship to the other. And um, so immediately after I was finished with my ex, I started dating Todd. I want to make sure he wasn't a rebound. So I thought this would be the perfect forum to see if, you know, he was, or if it was something I was seriously interested in. Okay, well that sounds fair. Well, it seems that Michelle and Todd definitely have some problems to ponder. When we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out if they're going to stay together or have a change of heart.
Welcome back to Change of Heart. We're here with Todd and Michelle. Now, Michelle says she's looking for an aggressive guy who's not disrespectful to women. And a fat wallet's definitely a plus. So we matched her up with a man who has a hefty bank balance and always makes the first move. Please welcome Brennan Linder. Michelle? So Todd, we'll give you first impressions here. What do you think of Brennan? Uh, uh, I'm not worried about anything, I guess. <laughs> not worried about anything. I'm all right. Okay, Michelle, did Brennan remind you of anybody? Actually, he reminded me of an MTV rock star type guy. Somewhere along the lines of Gavin from Bush or something like the that. The guy from Bush? Yeah. Uh -huh. So that would be a good thing then. Oh, definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Brennan, the same thing for you. Was she ringing your bell there when you... Yeah, I mean, she came walking out and she's just, I mean, she has a great body, so she had on low-cut jeans and a top and stuff. And smiling the whole time. So, I mean, yeah, she was kind of ringing okay, my so bell, I guess you could say. Good start then. So were there some similar interests then as you got to meet and uh, find out about her? Yeah, I mean, she's into ice skating and I ice skated in college, so uh, we went down to a rink and... Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. You know, she did a bunch of her flips and turns and just a lot of energy about she it. She was doing the moves for you. That's good. Yeah. No, and very acrobatic. Were really, you ever there really before? Really, nice. Um, actually, no, I'd never been there. And it was so great because it was like an older type rink. And they had an, a real organ player. I go ice skating with her. Come so on now. Fun. It What's was up with that? So but not to this fun. rink, I guess. I and expect it. <laughs> come on. No, it was really great. I, Thank I, you I, for I, taking you know, me. I had a great time. School. Come on, everybody. Fun. And so, Brennan, you did say she was putting the moves on for you while she was out on the ice, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was showing me the oh, difference no, no, no. with the jumps, you know, and the <laughs> twists and all that Chris, stuff. Chris, 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 <laughs> wait a minute, that's not true. She goes out on her own, does her oh own thing. There's so, no way. No, Michelle, are you a hardcore ice skater? Oh, I, got, I love ice skating so much. I've been, I, I've loved it since I was a child. I recently took it up again. Um, my coach is a former Olympic, Olympic medalist, mm -hmm. and um, I plan on competing sometime soon. Cool. And, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Brennan, we love it. Let me ask you about Michelle because Todd said earlier that she gets a little bit too hyper and gets a little too whacked out. Did you notice any of that while you're out? Not really. I mean, I'm high energy, but you know, she just loved talking about skating and what she was doing and just excited about life. Yeah, right. I mean, it wasn't anything. And he was crazy. interested in it too because he'd gone skating before. So, oh, you know. wait, wait, wait. come on now. <laughs> I did some ice skating. No, but he, he, yeah, but he Todd keeps talking. telling us that he's skated you know? before. He wants a little credit for his past yeah. skating performance. Just leave me alone and go off and do your All right, Brennan, did you stay <laughs> active after the ice skating rink? Did you keep uh, the activities going? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I wanted to keep it sort of physical and mm -hmm. moving around, and uh, so we went miniature golf. Oh, yeah. physical. Sort of see move. And all that stuff. Getting physical. You know, get close, you know, see how we can swing. Stuff yeah, like he that. taught me some swings, all right. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what kind of moves was he showing you now? there? Sorry. Michelle, what kind of moves was he showing you on the putt putt course? Basically, just, you know, uh, how to putt. One played putt putt. And... That's cool. No, well, we, you know, we were just having fun, baby. Right, right, right. It's okay. Uh, Todd, have you ever gone out there and hit the ball around a little bit in miniature golf? No, I haven't. Not with Michelle? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, okay, just checking. Now you think maybe you should have? Uh, I think I should have, maybe now. <laughs> so, a couple of times. Right. Now, Michelle, you were complaining that money's a problem and Todd doesn't have any money. Were these activities expensive? No, not at all. Now, how much is ice skating and golfing? Six dollars to ice it all skate. Up now. Five dollars for miniature golfing. Okay. I mean, you could totally afford that. Yeah, I mean, you, you sort of have to totally look for things to do. That. I mean, it's not really super expensive. Todd, that didn't sound that expensive. expensive. Yeah, I know. We live in LA. I, know. I, mean, I have right. my own skates, okay? All right, I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, give me that. <laughs> I have my All own right. skates. Michelle, let me ask you about the age difference. You said it was like six and a half years between uh, the two of you. How about exactly. you and Brennan? Was it closer? Um, yeah, a year's difference. And, does that um, make a difference? Yeah, it does make a difference. He's a little more stable and he pretty much knows where he's headed a little more stable <laughs> a little more stable a lot more Oops. <laughs> all right michelle tell us uh, what happened after the miniature golf then what was planned um actually we went out to dinner we went to this place la petite four that actually todd and i had walked by before we started dating and he said that he'd take me there once he had the money well, mm -hmm. I couldn't wait, so Come on, the... Brennan took me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a great little place. We walked by it at least, right? That's cool. We're walking by it. We walked by it. No. Todd, does that make you crazy, though? Good she enough? wanted to go there no. with you, but she jumped the gun with Brennan. No, How does that make you feel? Oh, uh, you know. Uh... Three months. I waited three months. Three, yeah. I mean, it's just a little drive up. He's there. a little older. He's got a little, little more money. Place. That's cool. He can right. do these things. And Michelle, how are things at dinner? Were things still going really well here at this point? <laughs> well, actually, the conversation took a turn. 
and to more sexual tone. Ooh. Yeah, I, I was kind of a little sketchy on that part because he started asking me questions about where is the wildest place you've ever done it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, oh, and hey, so, what? You know, I, I was kind of caught off guard. Uh, I guess most importantly, though, Michelle, did it bother you it's that nice. he brought up these subjects? You know, I actually had fun playing that because, you know, I'm a mind person too, so, so it was a little challenging for me, but mm -hmm. it didn't really bother me. Overall, it was didn't bother a you. great. <laughs> It bothered Todd, though. It didn't bother you. <laughs> well, you know, we had fun with it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I was Sex definitely a little different than, I guess, in her relationships <laughs> in the past year. We'll see if dating a guy with some money in the bank is going to give Michelle a change of heart. But before we do that, we got to meet the woman that Todd dated. We'll do that next and hear what happened on their date. <laughs> Part. We just heard what happened on Michelle's date with Brennan, and now we're going to meet the woman that Todd dated. Todd says that Michelle might be a little too old for him, a little too hyper, and a little too attached to her ex. So we set him up with a woman who never talks to her ex, never does flips in her living room, and is much closer to his age. Please welcome Chrissy Summers. Hi, Chrissy. Good to see you. You know Todd? Okay, Michelle, we'll start with you. What do you think of Chrissy? Well, gosh, I'm a professional makeup artist, and what, this show's only, what, a half hour? Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Chrissy, tell me what you learned about Todd before you actually got to meet him. Um, well, I learned that he was actually a model back in Ohio, and that was really exciting to know that he's a guy, you know, who really takes pride in his appearance and likes to do that, those kind of things. A lot different from the guys that I've normally gone out with. Uh huh. And Todd, vice versa, what is it that you first learned about uh, Chrissy? Uh, well, she's uh, more my age. She's 22. Uh huh. Um, when I first saw her, she had the, her eyes, and she was wearing this type of, uh, oh, it was like an overall type thing with like shorts and sear legs and, you know. So it looked good for you. You liked it. <laughs> uh, Chrissy, let me ask you about the age difference. Do you think Michelle's a little too old for Todd? Well, let me put it this way. If I was dating somebody who was six and a half years my junior, I'd be trolling the junior high schools. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Chrissy, so then when you talked to Todd on the phone, did he meet your expectations finally in person? Oh, definitely. He's got beautiful brown eyes, a perfect profile. Uh, he can model for me anytime, uh -huh. anything. <laughs> so, Todd, things were, uh, I guess, initially starting off pretty well here, would you say? Uh... Well, I thought so, at least I thought they would, but uh -huh. on my ride over, I don't know what I hit. I hit something. Uh, it's not like I got a crappy car, but my muffler <laughs> just like cracked in two, and I'm setting off all these car alarms. My car's all loud, and I'm thinking, man, this is crazy. Oh. Right. Chrissy, this thing was pretty loud pulling down the street up to your house? Oh, oh, it was like a metal concert. It's like my ears were like ringing. <laughs> we got about halfway down the block, and I couldn't hear anything he was saying at all. We're like, uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So we kind of turned around and we took my car, but he filled up my tank full of gas, so that was sweet. Oh. That's the least I could do, I guess. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, he, had a, he had a couple of bucks in his pocket to spare. Who <laughs> uh, would mom say is better for you, Chrissy or Michelle? Definitely Chrissy. Mom would give her the thumbs up. Huh? She's just more of the like sweet, I guess, more a home type girl. Home type. Uh, I don't know. I guess she is. She looks home. Never mind. Now, Chrissy, one of the things that we heard. <laughs> Chrissy, one of the things we heard Michelle complaining about was Todd never had any money. He put a couple bucks in your gas tank. Was it a problem the rest of the date? Not at all. He actually bought me a few things at the craft festival, which were really neat. Oh, I is that right? What did yeah. you buy her? Well, he bought me I a did? little. He bought me a little wooden bird with my name on it. Uh huh. So, and that was really cute. Yeah, like fly away. <laughs> well, Michelle, now be nice. I don't think that is exactly what that present meant. I think that's. But what look, meant. he's putting gas in the tank. He's Jeez. buying little gifts. He's spending some money on her. Oh well, you know. All right. So after Why the convention center and this little festival yeah, exactly. that you went to, where you'd were you? You know what? You'd think that at almost 30 years of age, you'd be a little more mature than that. Oh. <laughs> I think at 22, you'd be able to afford bleach for your roots. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy, let me ask you about the date. <laughs> Where you went after the Arts and Crafts Festival. But obviously not. What? Uh, I'm trying to ask the... I can help you. Yeah. After the Arts and Crafts Festival, where did you head for your date? Um, afterwards, we went to a boat type thing, and it was really, really neat because we got to go on the boat, and it was a nice date. You know, the lucky thing is, is that he actually isn't ashamed to stop and ask for directions, mm -hmm. so which is unlike That's a lot of men. Good. 
Well, points for Todd on that one. Now, Todd, were you guys as compatible on sea as you were on land? Well, I thought maybe at first, yeah, but she got a little seasick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I like to be out in the water, you know, so I'm thinking, I felt bad for her because she, you know, didn't Wasn't feel feeling too, too good, yeah, right? And Chrissy, could you tell he was Some... disappointed or not? Um, he was he was actually the perfect gentleman, which was really, really nice. You know, he put his jacket around me and held me when I got cold and found me a place to sit. Wasn't it like 80 degrees oh, out? Man. Now, Chrissy, did he Why call anybody hooker while you guys were out on your date, since Michelle says that's what he uses the term for all women? Oh, no, of course not. He was a perfect, perfect gentleman. He no, I never noticed him using that word at all. Uh-huh. All right, now, besides yeah. your seasickness there, did that cause the date to end, or were you able to go on? No, actually, we were having a really good time, so we decided to have the date go on, and we went to a real nice Mexican restaurant yeah, overlooking nice. the water. Where are the boats on the background? It was kind of cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, Michelle says that Todd's not very aggressive when it comes to romance. Did you feel that when you were spending some time with him? Well, he actually was. I will agree with her on that, that he was the, a gentleman, and he was a really, Definitely. really nice guy and really sweet about that. And he wasn't like, you know, the usual pervert the that I seem to be right in away, LA. Right. That's good to know. And Todd, after He's dinner, awesome. what happened? Well, after dinner, we would decide to go ice skating. Uh, whoa. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Back to the skating ice rink. Skating. Oh, wait a minute. You went ice wait, skating? Let me explain. Yeah, explain. Well, so we went ice skating, and uh -huh. we're both not the best on ice, so we were helping each uh -huh. other around the rink a little bit. But sometimes Michelle like does her own thing. I don't even see her for like an hour. I'm like, wow, all right, cool. You I know, what? if you want me Chrissy to stay there with you. I got someone else to skate right. with. And Michelle, why is that making you crazy here that they went skating? Oh no, no, no! Because he never goes skating with me. Okay. Oh. Never. Never. Sense, never. Oh. never. Oh. And Todd, by the time that you guys had spent your entire day together, did Chrissy ever call you any other name? As a matter of fact, she didn't. Uh, we uh, spent the day together, and we actually had a pretty well, good time. Yeah. She's a wonderful person. Oh. And she got your name right the whole time. <laughs> yeah, name okay. Is Todd. Very nah. good. Yeah. Will Michelle and Todd have a change of heart? Oh That's our last God. question. And during the break, they're going to make their final decision. We're going to find out if they're going to stay together or have a change of heart when we come back. Moment of truth. During the break, Michelle and Todd each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together, or have they had a change of heart? Now, Todd, you came on the program to find out uh, whether or not you were just a rebound in Michelle's life, and that was what we wanted to find out. You said you wanted to date somebody that might be closer to your age, obviously not so hyper spinning and twirling in your living room. Uh, somebody that won't call you by their ex. She was referring to you as Scott sometimes. There you were with Chrissy, had a good time, the boat and all of that whole thing. What's your decision, sir? Well, Chrissy and I really got along. Uh, we had a good date. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Michelle also, the rebound thing got me for a while. You know, I'm thinking, Scott, you know, come on, Scott. So, it also, we also had a good time. And I decided that I'm going to stay. Oh. Stay together. Okay. Chrissy, sorry things didn't work out for you. Hi, Michelle. Now, Todd wants to stay with you, but you did say that you would like somebody that maybe was a little more aggressive in the romance department, somebody that's not calling you hooker and disrespecting you that way, <laughs> and, of course, somebody that's a little more creative as far as dating and taking you out on the town. You had a good time with Brennan. He did a lot of those things, but it's your decision here. What have you decided, Michelle? Um, well, Todd and I have a lot of differences and I mean with the age being one and just you know the money and everything and well Brennan he's hot isn't he hot <laughs> but you know what Todd's hot too and you know what? Todd's all that and more so I think I'm gonna stay together okay Brennan sorry things didn't work out for you in this respect either and Michelle and Todd, I guess it's not just a rebound thing here. It looks like you're headed for a long-term thing. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, look how sweet Thanks. they look. That's our show for today. Thanks to Brennan and Chrissy, and good luck to Todd and Michelle. We'll see you here next time on Change of Heart.